Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin, 144K, about to do a general collective message for the star sign Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. How the hell is everybody? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're doing your affirmations, your meditations, you're doing all of the necessary things so you can be healthy. For some of you, I feel like I feel a little down right now. You need to get your energies back up, baby. You need to get your frequencies back on high, if not on high, at least on medium. Um, also, this is for entertainment purposes only. Everything that you need to know or questions that you may have, you'll find it in the description box below my videos. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank y'all so much for supporting me, um, for rocking with me, stand by me. Also... Um, it's a growing family, so I look forward to the rest of my soul family to continue to come through. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with your family, friends, etc., etc., and your co-workers, okay? Also, I'm going to put some quick disclaimers out. I talk a lot of shit in my videos, and I cuss a lot. If that offends you or the way that I read cards, that's three disclaimers. If you don't like those, please leave my channel, please leave my channel now, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Beautiful gems, gem, gem, gems. For those of you who are not familiar with tarot, I'm going to go ahead and use some quick information. If I say chalices, those are cups. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's war energy. If I say um, swords, that's your energy, Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's air energy. If I say pinnacles, that's earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If I say wands, that's fire energy. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we have the Knight of Chalice, the Hermit, the Empress, the Queen of Swords, the war Six of Wands, Six of Pinnacles, Five of Pinnacles, and Hierophant. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of chalices. I need something to drink right quick after that. Mm. Oh, shit, that coffee good. And it's piping hot. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, Woo. feels good, y'all. All right, babies. Let's see what we got. Uh, I need some more chapstick. My lips are feeling dry right now, y'all. Give me one minute, soul family, and let me get back to business. I do apologize for any interruptions or delays with the readings, babies. The Knight of Chalices. Somebody wants to come in and offer you some love, baby. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody wants to come through, boo. You gonna let them come through? This could be you, Gemini. You can have. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somewhere in your chart. Maybe you need to give yourself some self-love, baby. I don't know. But I'm feeling more like this is somebody that want to come through, boo. They want to give you a little bit. <laughs> give me a little piece of quiet. And they want victory. Somebody wants victory coming with love with the love. He's not a king, or she's not a queen, but they are nice. So they're somewhere in between. They're still building their love. Okay. And they're still building that person. And we all have stars. This person wants to give you an offer of love. Are you going to accept them nice? What you going to do, baby? Yeah, they told me, you know what? I love you so much. Cool. Just go on a trip. Just with me. Just me and you. Ooh, baby. I can't sing, y'all. But I'm just saying, that's the song that came across. Somebody wants to go on a cruise. Just me and you. Ooh, that sounds romantic. Y'all make sure you fuck up on the deck if you do. Oh, somebody watching. But anyway, we got the Hermit card. So somebody is attaching from the situation. Y'all could very well have Virgo in your chart, Gemini's, or you could be dealing with a her that has detached. They've separated themselves away to go within to get some guidance. They need some clarity on the situation. They need some wisdom. Because in the past, on the present future, or the present, the future, watch yourself. I said that. Watch yourself. Somebody could have been offering somebody unequal balance to give it to. They pulled away from that shit. They was like, nah, if I can't get equal reciprocity, I'm not here. I'm not going to that shit. And she did just that. He or she. Taurus. Libra. Aries. They turned it back and they walked away. They was like, you know, I know I'm, I know my worth. I don't have to put up with this shit. But unless somebody feeling left out in the cold emotionally, could be even financially. Is that you, Gemini? Or is that your divine counterpart? Did you turn back on and cause them to walk away? Or vice versa? You know your situation. But unless somebody feeling left out. And somebody could be, you know, not seeing things. You know, you may operate in like mentality. You can you could be thinking it probably strict in mindset. Also, that's that's a message that I'm being told to give somebody, okay? Also, the Queen of Swords is here. So you showing up in your reading gems. That's what the fuck is up. Shout out to my gem gems. My Geminis. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Specifically Gemini, but 
This could be any of y'all. Somebody could be embodying this energy where they done had enough. You know, when you get to be a queen of swords, this woman is a man has been through a life experience. Not just one, but multiple. And they're now being very balanced. <clears throat> they're not working so much from the emotional side of themselves. They're working from the logical side of themselves. Male or female. And this queen, she wants respect and she demands the motherfucking truth. Male or female. You see this fucking bird? You see the rope on the beat. That's the version of her sword. If you don't give her or him the motherfucking truth that they looking for or they asked for, she going to take that fucking rope off that goddamn bird's beak and it's going to ham, turkey, bologna, pastrami, the lobby up in this piece. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fuck the sword. I got a big ass swan with a fucking beak. Top and bottom. I'll sit that bitch on your ass. Okay. Somebody is ready to cut out this situation. Could be you, Gemini. Are you ready to walk away from the situation? Or are you ready to go into some kind of committed situation? Or are you already in a committed situation? Because at the bottom of the deck, you got the two of chalices. So you could be with soulmate. You could possibly be married to your soulmate. Because the higher fin is the high priest. And the high priest runs over time running traditions, traditional values, religious beliefs, culture, marriages. I was like, one too. The high priest or hierophant also presides over any legal documentation, any binding contracts like a marriage, a business. The hierophant is also Taurus, but the hierophant also can be a judge, a lawyer, a police officer, somebody in the law profession, somebody that works maybe in some kind of traditional aspect. Could be your medical profession too, for some of y'all, not all y'all. But someone could very much be in a relationship of some sort. With a soulmate. But there is a ten of swords situation lurking behind this relationship. What looks like ain't what it really is. Ain't that some shit? And the divine is all up in this shit. But you could be dealing with a can a Pisces. My bad. There could be a cancer working too now. Because we do have water on the board. So watch out. Four of swords. Somebody needs to rest in this situation. There might have been a lot of illusions, things hidden, things yet to be revealed in a love relationship. Somebody might be up to no good. No good. Ten of wands. Ten of wands situation. Ten of wands. Somebody wants victory swiftly. Remember I told you this bird, what their beak looks like? Now you see what I'm talking about? If you don't give her truth and clarity in the situation, what she will do with it? And you look like boo the fucking fool standing there about to get it. You and somebody else, Gemini. And you're not seeing shit clearly either. You ready to go forward, Gemini? Let's go. Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus, north node, south node. Queen of Wands. Somebody wants to take action like the Queen of Wands. You don't have to be a Queen of Wands. You could have um, you could have this in your chart as well. But somebody wants to take action with the ship along swiftly. Queen of Wands comes in and can take control of the situation, okay? Also, somebody wants a new start. Maybe some good dick. Maybe you ain't had some dick in a while. Maybe you've been celibate. Or even somebody wants some good coochie. You ain't had none. Kegel muscles. I hope y'all doing your exercise for bitches who ain't had none in a minute. I know she might be tight, but it'll loosen up after a couple of busts. Bus a bus, okay? Do your Kegel exercises. So you can tighten up on that thing. Because somebody wants to come in with a slow-ass goddamn offer. Possibly this goddamn king of chalices, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want to offer you the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is ready to take a leap of faith. You can all be in a divine union. Or they want to offer you a solid foundation. And you're going to get justice. You might not be single no more. And for some of you, you're going to be single. Okay, okay. Let's go forward. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node. What we got? We got two cards. Woo. Okay. Uh, somebody is egotistical. So that trip might not be all that is cracked up to be watching back. Seven of swords. Six and seven. Mm. Watch yourself. Gents, watch yourself. That might not be an honest offer. for Not all of you. Some of you. Some of you. Somebody might come in and try to play you. Okay? It's going to bring in a tower moment. This is Aries and this is Scorpio energy. And this person can have all of this in their chart. So watch yourself. Somebody's up to some free.
But judgment is coming in. Judgment is coming on the situation. Something is going up for reconciliation and judgment. This is a karmic situation. Always. Somebody got a clock on the head. They're being awakened. This is my spiritual awakening card. Somebody is walking away from a situation. They're tired of being stuck and trapped in their heads about shit. They need to find strength in the situation. Strength and courage. Like the Tin Man. Or the Lion. You've been in something that was toxic, codependent. Possibly somebody had addictions. Because this pride and ego. Okay? This is pride and ego. Very strong pride and ego. Somebody could have been very egocentric. And it brought down a tower moment. Somebody could have sexual addictions. I showed you that dick card. Okay? But you might... Just decide to say, fuck it, I need to step it up one more notch and cut it out. But this could be your counterpart. You're ready to cut something the fuck out. Communication could be another part of it. Let me go forward. Let's go. The star sign, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus. North node and south node. We got the star card. So you got two major arcana on major arcana. So this is major, boo-boo. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six. And look at what you got. You, right there at the bottom of the deck, my love. Gemini, lovers, divine connection. Somebody has a choice to make. Ooh, shit. And wish fulfillment. And for others of you, your counterpart is a heavy indulger in shit that's not known to you. Because they give you the emotion. They play you with the emotion that they want you to feel. But really, there is more to shoot. They're holding on to two situations. Okay, boo? One could possibly be their divine counterpart because we already have one already on the board. See the other one? The emperor. Right there. King of Wands. This is somebody that knows what the fuck they want and they're going after it. And this could be a Taurus too or somebody has Aries and Taurus in their chart possibly. Okay? Okay. So let's get to it. So somebody is taking a much needed rest. Someone could very well have Aquarius in their chart and have Virgo in their chart. But somebody I feel at this point is taking a much needed rest. And for others of you, you are wishing you are going in and manifesting what you want. You are using all of the hermit like a magician. To get what you want to manifest something back to you. In the past, it wasn't fair. And it caused a lot of upheaval. Henceforth this. There was some deception. Somebody was very egotistical. Very prideful. Very arrogant. Very controlling too. Because that King of Wands is also a controlling person. Very manipulative at times as well. Can also represent a player. But you want healing. You've detached from a situation because there was an unequal get, unequal uh, give and take of reciprocity in the situation. But you got a choice to make, boo-boo. And you know it divinely. You know it divinely. And this is also same sex, honey. Okay? For the ones that resonate with that. Let's go forward, babies. For the star sign, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Come on, boo. There you go. Your shit is popping, boo. Yeah. Judgment, baby. Judgment on an unequal give of reciprocity. You did not get what you came for. It was very one-sided. Somebody was too much in their fear-based energies. To give you the love and reciprocity that you were giving in return. Now somebody want to take action and offer you some fucking love. But it looked like it might be a little too late, boo. You done turned your back. Either you or them. And said, excuse my back, boo. Deuces. A bitch is out. I holla. You can't treat me like a halfling. Or a redhead stepchild and think I'm supposed to rock with that shit. You got life fucked up. And it could have been this King of Pentacles. Because they can be very stubborn. They can be very bullish. And they can be very egocentric as well. Okay? Doesn't always have to be. But this is somebody that's got money. So they think they can treat people sometimes the way they want to treat them. And that, you know, you just like a little 
fish on a hook. But you got the door of value coming through. You got abundance, stable abundance. You going to be the one that's going to have some motherfucking options. Now you're going to reverse the roles. There's judgment for you. How about them apples? And I don't sell fucking fruit. And you get to be single and looking beautiful, I might add, doing it. Because you get justice. Look at this shit here. Foundation, stable, twin flame. Fly, pelican, fly. Take that leap of faith to the Ten of Pentacles. And it could very well be with a cancer. They're coming in slow. And they're going to offer you that good, good, that good wood, or that good punani. The Wheel of Fortune is behind your back. But there could be some harsh communication. Ooh, coming through. Five of Swords, internal conflict. What y'all doing? Oh, let's go forward, Gemini. Shit. Sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, south node. Come on, babies. The hardest part is about to be over. Mercury retrograde. Look at this. A motherfucking Gemini felt left out in the cold. That's you, baby. You felt left out in the cold in love and finances. This shit shook your foundation hard, too. Might I add? After this person walked away. Hmm. Oh. But you still got a choice to make. And your finances might be delayed too. Somebody, some of y'all could have lost a job, I'm hearing. This shake this shakeup was major for some of you, Gemini's, not all of you. And some of you might have blocked a thought. Somebody living in the land of thoughtry. Thoughtlandia. They wanted shit to come together, but there was no collaboration. That's what got illuminated. But you have also an illumination of a divine love. With a high priestess. Somebody poured all their love out. They want the ships to come in. But there's no coming in on a third party situation. That shit is done. And you need to heal temperance and balances here. Your angel, ten of swords, soulmate. We started from the beginning. Let's go forward. That was the card that was at the very bottom of your deck from the start. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, south node, babies. What we got? Hmm. We got the two of swords. So somebody is not seeing shit clearly. Could very well be you, Gemini. Could be you. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Libra. You could have all of this in your chart. Because damn near everybody is out here. Shit, everybody is out here. What the fuck am I saying? Every nigga is out here. We got wands. We got fire. We got fire. We got air. We got earth. We got water. Everybody's out here. So I don't know who the fuck now. But, um... You need to see something clear and maybe in the past, this queen of swords didn't see things clearly, but she see it clear enough to walk away because the shit was definitely toxic, male or female. You walked away from a toxic situation, somebody that had addictions, codependencies, and it left you feeling stuck, trapped, like you didn't know how to get the fuck out of this situation. You needed strength and courage or you were dealing with a Leo. And you decided to cut the shit out. You did or they did. Page of Wands. Communication is coming in. Or somebody taking action to move forward. Away from a toxic ass fucker. That is um, a user. He's a miser. He's stingy. Greedy. Blocking his heart chakra. Materialistic. Almost narcissistic. This was a past soulmate to you. Now you got to rebuild. And you got expansion because the cycle is closing. You got to close one door, baby, before a new door can open. Because this shit was codependent and put you in a third-party situation. But look, Queen of Pentacles, beautiful. You're moving away. 
There could very well be a love offer or somebody is trying to pretend or defend that there's no baby involved. Some of you could have, have found out that your partner made a baby outside of y'all's relationship. Some of you is long term. For others of you, it could have been a marriage. Yeah, juggling, internal conflict. Yep, let's go forward. Sun, moon, rising for the star sign, Gemini, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node. And justice went sideways, just so you know. It didn't come, it was the last card that flipped, but it didn't come out, but it came out sideways. So watch yourself, okay? Watch yourself. Watch yourself, Geminis. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody is going through a breakup, a major breakup. Um, somebody is going through a divorce and you're going to be coming single. But you're going to be financially stable. You're still going to be looking good when you leave out of this situation. And if you're not now, you will be. Okay? And you got to get out of your head. I told you this is what that big bitch looked like when she sick that bird on your ass. So somebody could be sending you nightmares too. That's another thing that I'm feeling. I told you that's what that bird looks like when they turn that motherfucker loose and she take that rope off that beak. Okay? And up underneath it, it could very well, you could have dealt with a cancer. Or you could be moving forward swiftly towards what you need. Victory. Burdensome. You were overwhelmed in a situation. It was stressful. There's death and rebirth. And this is why I told you to watch. You could be manifesting, but somebody could also be manifesting some fuck shit too. Watch yourself. There's love. All right, Gemini. Let's go ahead and put some magic on your cards. Or on your reading, I should say. We're going to use the Earth Magic Oracle deck. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, Gemini. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. For Gemini, there we go. Not one, but two, babies. Okay. Ah, stillness. So this correlates very well with this and this for healing. You need to be like a lake, placid, still, not moving. You need to take some time and do some reflection, okay? And you're going to release this by autumn, by the fall. It's time for you to release this shit. So you might be starting to feel a little better towards the fall, sweetie. And at the bottom of the deck, we have wolf, instinct. So use your instinct. You were given to it. It was given to you at birth. We're going to put an angel oracle, archangel oracle message on your reading. And that will conclude it. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, and south node. Chakra clearing. So you might have some chakras, sweetie, to clear out. Archangel Metatron is telling you, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometrical shapes. So you can go on YouTube and look up chakra clearing and whatever it is that you feel like you need to work on within you. And you'll know what's blocked inside of you. If not, just find one that has all seven chakras and uh, use it as a sleep meditation and it will help you. If you're awake, use one where you can just get somewhere in a quiet, still place to release. Okay? And it will lead you back to your instinct and you'll find some strength. Interesting. Divine order. Archangel Raguel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. And that could have been what this moon card was about when I pulled illusions see past them okay 
All right. I love you, Geminis. Y'all take care of yourself. Please like, subscribe, share with your family and friends, co-workers. I thank y'all so much for stopping by. And we'll be back at another time. Y'all have a great night. Blessings.